you'll be able to modularly meet it. Now you've made energy and you've stored energy and you want to make sure not to waste that energy. So you can actually monitor exactly what is happening in your home. Right now, we are buying electricity off of the grid. Now if our solar power was really cooking away, we could be selling it back. What else have we been doing? Well, we've used this much electricity, this much water, this much natural gas, and these are our carbon dioxide emissions. So we can really be aware of everything that's happening. Now we've found just from monitoring your consumption, most consumers cut about 5%, but because they're able to identify the waste and eliminate it, and they can try harder. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and the penguins actually even give you advice about what particular you should be doing in order to maximize your enjoyment of your electricity. Now you can actually monitor what every single one of your appliances, all of your light fixtures, how much power they're drawing. When, they're, when you're wasting power, if you've left something on overnight, when and where and how that electricity is being consumed. You can even turn things off remotely. So if you leave the basement light on when you're doing laundry, and then you realize when you're back in the bedroom that that light is on, you can go to your TV and turn it off. So it makes your life easier, more convenient, more comfortable, and more energy efficient all at the same time. Now in the future, this is going to be a smart hem. And what that means is it's going to be able to monitor and adjust automatically. So if it's very sunny and it's hot inside, it can close the shades for you. It can blow a little bit of cool air up from the basement or underneath the floorboards. If you leave the room, it can turn off the lights behind you. You can even access it remotely. You can call ahead and say, I'm coming home, turn on the air conditioner. So all day you can be in a low power state because you're not even in the house. And yet, when you get home, you'll have a cool, comfortable environment. So it'll decrease your lifestyle and yet use less energy, which is the goal. Now, of course, when you can see exactly what every single one of your appliances is using in terms of electricity, you're gonna want them to be extremely efficient. Here are a couple of things that you should try. Panasonic even has made their vaulted plasmas extremely efficient. This is a 2010 Viera, and this is a 2007 model. Now both of these panels are drawing the exact same amount of power. They're using the same wattage. But the 2010 is actually four times brighter than the 2007. Now what does four times luminosity mean to you in your home? Well, when you have your panel set for the optimal brightness for your particular home viewing situation, it will use much, much less power than the older model would. It's much more efficient. In fact, the 42-inch plasma is now rated at 95 watts. So watching your plasma TV actually consumes less electricity than leaving a 100-watt light bulb on. Incredible. In fact, every single Viera for 2010 meets the 4.0 Energy Stars qualification. And that's a 40% drop in consumption just from 2009. Farther down the booth in the darkened area, there's a side-by-side -side wattage comparison between 2009 and 2010. And you can watch the actual wattage draw of the two panels. These are real light meters and they're actually measuring the brightness of the panel at this moment. Now, of course, you don't just have 80 toys in your home. You have working appliances, too. Microwaves and washing dryers and uh, refrigerators and air conditioners. And chances are they are extremely inefficient at the moment. Most of our appliances either work at 100% or they're not working at all. And that's not an efficient way to work. For instance, if your room air conditioner is set to 70 degrees, very rarely are you actually getting what you asked for. It's working at 100% as hard as it can until you're at 65 degrees, and then it stops. And you sit around doing nothing until it's 75 degrees, and very little time is spent with what you want. And it's very, very loud when it starts up, and it uses a lot of energy. Every single time it turns on is a waste of energy. Now, with the inverter, you'll be able to actually modulate the frequency of the incoming current. And what that means is you can adjust 
how hard the motor is working. So this will work for any motor compressor heat pump application. You can actually bring the temperature to 70 degrees and then scale back to maybe 30% operation. Just keep it there, just enough to maintain what you wanted. So your air conditioner will suddenly be capable of doing what you wanted it to do, which is keep your home at 70 degrees. And yet, it will be doing that with 50% less power. Unbelievable. Your refrigerator can make ice 88 minutes faster, and yet use 40% less power. Incredible. I actually have a Panasonic inverter microwave. And what that does for me is I can defrost my food. In a regular non-inverter microwave, if you hit defrost, it hits your food with 100% of its power, and then it does nothing. And then it hits it with 100% of its power. And then it just sits there for a while. And that's not actually defrosting your food so much as it intermittently microwaving it. I don't want you to intermittently cook it. I want you to hit it with 10% of the microwave's power consistently and evenly until it's defrosted. And now with the inverter, my microwave is capable of doing that. So it's completely revolutionary for the way all of these appliances will work. But it's such a simple idea. Now, when we were talking about the fuel cell, we talked a lot about heat waste. You know, that heat waste is the enemy of efficiency. It's uh, power that you wanted to turn into something and accidentally sent out into the world as heat. We do that a lot with light bulbs. These are both 60 watt light bulbs, but we would call 60 watt. They give you that much light. We're used to that designation. They're 60 watt light bulbs. But this one, the incandescent, is using 52.9 watts to achieve that brightness. The LED is using 7.2 watts. Now what happened to those other 40-something watts? Where did they go? What did they become? They became heat. And you can actually tactilely feel what that waste is. All of that power that you tried to make light out of and sent out in the world as heat waste instead. And of course, the lifespan is radically different as well. LEDs, this one, has a lifespan of 40,000 hours, which means if you have this light bulb on for five and a half hours every single day, you'll change that light bulb 19 years from now. 19 years. So if there's any spot that you're not really looking forward to shimmying up and changing the light bulb, LED, change in 20 years. Unbelievable. Now, of course, heat loss is most obviously prevented by insulation. So let's take a look here at what four millimeters of vacua insulation can do. This is the heat source. This is the heat source underneath four millimeters of vacuum insulation. These three insulations all have exactly the same performance. Uvacua is 20 times as effective as polyurethane. It's almost 40 times as effective as glass wool incredible performance and you can make this as thick as you want for any application so anytime you want to keep hot on one side and cold on the other uvacua can do that for you now panasonic considers the environmental implications of its products through the inception of the idea the design of the product the manufacturer and production transportation view all the way until you're ready to get rid of it we want you to recycle it at that point so we have recycling drop-off locations in every single state across the u.s there are 400 of them now, and there will be 600 by the end of the year. So we have information on that right behind you. So please do recycle your products. Come touch, test everything, uh, see how it works. If there's anything you need further clarification on, you have a question, you missed something, let me know. You can explore how our uh, factory line and manufacturing lowers the impact of all our products right there at the track ball. And make sure to check out the 2009, 2010 water display and go into the full HD 3D theater because that's just really cool. Right. You guys think sure.